Welcome to History on a Budget. I'm Victoria, and today we're making this cozy 18th century winter bodice. In the winter, I love to wear cozy clothes. I love my sweaters, my sweatshirts. I just want to like snuggle up and be warm. So what was the 18th century equivalent of that? In the 18th century, they didn't have sweaters and sweatshirts, but they did have nice warm wool bodices. So I got this wool on uh, an Instagram sale. Somebody was decluttering their stash and I decided it's the perfect wool to make my own snuggly winter bodice. So let's get into it. So the goal of today's project is just basically to be quick and easy. I've got my wool here. I've got uh, my good old American Duchess simplicity pattern. I've used this bodice pattern like a million times. It fits me really well. I can do it in my sleep, so that's what we're going to use today. It is Simplicity 8161 should you want to use it yourself. And I'm going to modify it a little bit today. Um, I think I want a full front closing bodice instead of one that needs a stomacher, just for I don't know, something different. Um, but I've made that alteration before and it's really very simple. You just extend the front piece a little bit. I'm also not going to line it because I'm lazy. And this is a quick project. So I'm laying out my pattern pieces and here is how I did the front. So I just laid out the front piece and then I decided to add five inches to the front just to make sure there was plenty there to cover and I just measured out, drew a line for the new front closure and kind of just extended on the angles that seem to make sense. So a bit of a curve in the neckline and these are things that I can always adjust and edit as I sew but that's the basic shape for the extended bodice front. I love this bodice pattern because it comes together so quickly. Uh, I cut out all the pieces and then just real quick stuck them together and it's already looking like a bodice. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention earlier when I was cutting is, I don't know if you can see on the video, but this wool does have a grain so it's kind of like fuzzy. There's an official name for it that I don't remember, but you can see that the grain does go in a specific direction. So like you can pet it easier this direction than you can that direction. That makes it bunch up. So that was one thing I really had to be careful about when cutting out my pieces is to make sure that the grain line was correct with the pieces just like you would with a pattern fabric. This one the pattern is just the fuzz. And making sure I had the right sides because the other side, the wrong side of the fabric, isn't Petable. It just feels like normal wool or like felted wool. So it's coming together. All the pieces are attached. I just need to sew the shoulders to make an armhole. Uh, put the sleeves on and hem it and it's done. Like I said, quick, easy bodice. So I've just realized that I've put the sleeves on backwards. I was getting pretty close to being done. I was, I put way too much extra in the front, but I knew that would happen. So I was going to figure out, you know, how much to trim off to finish the front. And I finished the top and bottom edges, just folded them over with a little hem. And I realized the sleeves were sitting really weird. They're facing towards the back. They're kind of pointing at an angle this way, when they're meant to be pointing at an angle this way. So I have to take the sleeves out and switch arms and reset them. So I've got the sleeves on the right way around this time. Um, that was a bit of a delay. And now I put it on my dress form to check everything. Obviously I added way too much in the front here. Um, so I need to trim both sides back so that they are not this big overlapping thing. 
And then I'm also not sure how I'm feeling about the neckline. It's just not feeling as open in 18th century as I'd like, so I might cut it back a bit more, but I might wait on that since um, I haven't put it on my own body yet, even though Felicity, my dress form, is pretty darn close to my own body. It might be worth trying on myself first. And part of me is like, well, you know, a little more coverage wouldn't be bad. This is meant for winter. It's meant to keep warm. Maybe it'll be more like a house coat, bed gown type thing, except that it's not shaped like that at all, so. We'll see. That's where I'm at. I'm gonna for sure trim back the front bits though because I added way too much but it's much easier to take fabric out than it is to put it back in. I went ahead and cut the excess fabric in the front and just turned it under to f and sewed it down to finish the edge. So the bodice is basically finished. It's very simple if there's no decoration but it serves its purpose. Um, you, I could leave it how it is and use straight pins, obviously not ones with little plastic heads, but use just normal straight pins to close it. That would certainly be historically accurate, but I think I'm going to take the time to sew hooks and eyes down the front just so that it's a little bit easier, but I'll wait and put it on my own body, not my dress forms, to mark where those go to make sure they're in the right place. The neckline seems to be falling a little bit better now that I got the front adjusted and kind of got it fit and pulled on and put on the dress form right. So I think that might be all right. I'll see once I put it on my body, but I think it's going to be a nice winter bodice for all my 18th century historical costuming. So I can be nice and warm and snuggly. All right, I have my corset on, I have the top on, or the bodice. It's fitting really well, I'm happy with it. So now it's time to put on the hooks and eyes. And I'm weird, instead of like marking where they go and then taking the bodice off and then sewing them on, I just like to sew them on while I'm wearing whatever garment it is, so. This is maybe not the best way to do hooks and eyes, but it's the way I do it because then I make sure it's the right size. So I'm going to get hand sewing and I'll see you soon. super soft because it's that like fuzzy wool so now I'm just gonna walk around petting myself which is really weird but whatever um it's super soft it's super comfy I'm really happy with it it fits nicely the hooks and eyes I use really big ones so it's really easy to put on and off and I think the wool just lays really nicely and will keep me nice and snugly warm for the winter I paired it with a little fichu, just for accessories, um, but also another great 18th century way to keep your chest warm. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff down below. I'm constantly working on new projects, and we have big dreams here and small budgets, but we're making it happen. See you next time. So today we're going to make Thank you.